a Saturday, man. We're out here because we're trying to get caught up on this window cleaning. The reason why we're doing the windows is because we had to do the whole interior as well. We had three, four months worth of work here to get done. And so you won't catch us out there cleaning windows for an open hotel that is down. I'm in the Disneyland district right here downtown in Disneyland district. I was just teaching people not that long ago how to get maintenance contracts for hotels. That was insane. I mean, the money was insane. And right now around this time, around April, we'd be doing five, six of these freaking big properties every single month all the way till November. But it's not gonna be like that this year. You can't catch any hotels or any large building that's, that's a, business or a hotel or anything like that saying hey come clean my windows right now uh because i'm ready to do this you know like they're not doing it man disneyland is shut down like out here is being just hit hard okay Disneyland is the main attraction the conventions are the main attraction and they got nobody to house up their hotels but the construction is still going see this isn't a, a, a normal hotel I mean we're a construction site this is all new construction all new landscaping everything's new you know we just put the striping in I mean they are building this thing from scratch and we're probably gonna open in maybe like another two months so we'll be here for another two months we've already been here for two months so we're here for a total of four months and we got two other projects just like this one so again remember the money has transferred to somebody else just because it's a recession and and this pandemic things going on doesn't mean that you can't make money it just means that you need to find the next person or the next thing that has the money so you can go after it okay your old gig ain't working no more okay i i, I the sooner you come to realization that your old gig isn't gonna work like is immediately when I found out about this I was like the hotel game's gone like I'm not gonna be able to get hotel window cleanings anymore because they're not doing business because they don't have no business and they're gonna wait for this thing to get wiped out and they're gonna wait for it to get done with so how do you stay healthy in this economy how do you stay healthy right now I mean we could be on shutdown for two to three months some of you guys might be like dude I got three months with the pay I'm fine I'll just hang in there but the problem is guys, is that if you're not bringing in money now, okay, over the next three months, when that three months of money runs out, okay, and, and, the, and every, everybody's out of lockdown again, then you have no resources, no money that's been coming in for the last three months. Also, you know what that means? If you don't got no jobs for the next three months, if you have a team or you've been trying to grow or you've been trying to establish yourself in the marketplace, you haven't been out there for three months, meaning you have to let go of your team that you've been building. I mean, dude, that is the most asset. If you are a business owner, you understand, or a contractor, that your guys are the most important asset. If you don't have guys to go out there to do jobs, you are fucked, okay? And what if you spent the last three, four years building up your team? Even I don't care if it's 10 guys, I don't even care if it's five. Just to get that five people that are solid, that are awesome, and you tell them, hey guys, look, there's no work for the next three months. Like I got enough money to chill for the next three months, but I can't employ you right now. You're gonna have to hit up the stimulus check and just get hooked up, you know, and come back to me three months later and maybe I'll have some work. Dude, they might be gone. They might've found another job or whatever. And now you're screwed as a contractor. You're screwed as that guy. And so I remember what it was like to do residential. I went out there and knocked doors every day to try to get a couple bucks to build my team. I never was able to do it in the residential community. I had to get bigger projects in the first place. Maintenance got fucking smacked in half. Thank God I did construction and I was doing maintenance at the same time. Multiple flows, right? One of my shit got smacked, so now I got another flow. Now, if this one gets smacked, I'm cut, right? which I need to find another flow right now. So that's your next step. Once you get set up in the construction community, if you're a service contractor and you're doing these large projects, get that going because it's secure right now. But if it gets smacked too, you need a backup plan. And so that's what we're doing right now is we're pivoting, we're, we're, we're maneuvering, and we're doing what we need to do. And so don't take my word for it. I mean, when did this whole pandemic start? I mean, we've been busy every single day. And so don't take my word for it. You know, let's talk to my team real quick. 
Hey Omar. Oh. Hey, when did when did you start, bro? Uh, this is my second Saturday work, so it's my second week. Okay, so you've been here for about two weeks. Yep. Okay, and uh, this whole pandemic thing, like, when did that start? Well, do you remember? It was about a month ago. Definitely, it's been about a month. Shut down about a month ago. A month and a week. Okay, and and have you been working every day for the last two weeks? Four. Like six days a week. Six days a week, happen. Six days a week. So he's still working six days a week. Don't take it from me. He's working six days a week, right? And so there is still work out there. The problem is, is you have to be in the right department. You have to pivot. You know, let's, let's talk to some more of our guys. So this is one of my seniority guys that's been here for a long time. I call him Big Hose, okay? And uh, we'll talk to him right now. Hey, Jose. Yeah. Hey, brother. Uh, this is actually Jose. This is, this is my district manager. He runs all of our guys and everything. Hey, so this whole pandemic thing, it started about what, about a month ago or something like that? Two months ago? Yeah. Okay. And for the last two months, have you have you missed any work for the last two months? Not at all. Not one bit. So you've been working every day, five, six days a week? Yeah. 50, 60 hours a week, right? Mm. Okay, cool. So see, don't take my word for it. You know, I'm showing you, my employees are still working. We're still showing up through this pandemic or not. The thing is, is the economy is not dead, okay? The economy is not dead.